hello guys uh, when we try to create an automatic collection uh, you, depending upon the product tags we can see uh, here we only see uh, is equal to a condition but if we want to create a, a Shopify collection where product tag is not equal to uh, we cannot find a straight away solution so uh, I found a workaround uh, that uh, we can tag all the products uh, other than th uh, this tag for example uh, we have uh, the products let's see we have the products where the tag is winter so we can see uh, these are 13 products right here these are 13 products uh, that are tagged with winter but other than the winter if we want to uh, tag the products other than winter uh, we will have to tag them manually to create their collection so I created a script uh, to automatically uh, tag the products other than winter so let's see to use this script first of all uh, you'll have to clone this repository uh, install the dependencies and uh, create a new app in the uh, store to get an access token uh, the access token will be uh, used to uh, get uh, get the ability to read and write the products from the Shopify admin so let's go to the settings in the apps and sales channel here develop apps create an app name your app and uh, configure the admin scopes so for example we want to read and write the products we want to read and write the products so we have checked these and uh, let's save and uh, now in the API credentials we see the option to install the app to get the access token so let's install the app here we can see uh, now we have uh, the access to the uh, access token so uh, we'll be able to only see it once so it is important to copy and save it accordingly so reveal this token copy and uh, plug uh, I have already uh, uh, cloned this repository so plug this uh, access token uh, here we can see access token right here and uh, similarly copy the API key and secret key and uh, plug into the script API key and uh, similarly API secret and also update the name of your store uh, in the script so we can get the name from the store details and uh, from here we can see the store name right here copy the name and uh, update the script so after cloning the repository and updating the credentials uh, you have to run yarn install so I already have installed the packages so now uh, let's see here we saw that we have total 13 products that are tagged with winter and uh, we have total 17 products in this store so now uh, we want to automatically tag the other products that are uh, 
not tagged as winter we want to tag them as summer so for example if we have thousands of products so this will uh, this script will help you uh, to achieve a uh, tag the other products automatically so let's see here we can see in the script uh, we have basically three functions right here uh, we we will be writing all the uh, all the products uh, without uh, without the uh, required tag into a JSON file and uh, then add the update uh, the tags of those products right here okay let's see uh, here you can see uh, we are writing the products to a file uh, we will be getting the 50 products at a time um, here, here the maximum limit is 250 so you can update it accordingly so uh, we uh, if if the uh, store has thousands of product so uh, the script will run in a particular way like it will first get 250 then we have used the while loop to uh, loop through all the pages one by one we can see here we are updating the parameters so it will go to the next page and next page next page and uh, it will uh, repeat uh, till we not find any next page so after uh, find looping through all the pages uh, we will be writing uh, this JSON file and in the next step we will be uh, reading this uh, JSON file and uh, updating the product tags right here so in the first clip we, we saw that we are getting only the products that do not have winter tag so in the second step uh, we are appending the summer tag uh, to uh, the other products that do not have uh, winter tag so you can update the tags according to yourself so now let's uh, run this script and see the magic so let's run the script node index.js okay first of all uh, let's see uh, if we go to uh, this product for example this product gift card and uh, if we see it do not have any of the tag right now so if we go to next product you can see it has the winter tag so uh, we'll we'll see later on that after running the script that gift card will have uh, the gift card will have uh, the summer tag automatically so now let's run the script so basically uh, we have uh, we are using uh, set timeout so that uh, uh, to update the scripts so that we do not uh, reach the threshold per second basically they uh, uh, rest admin rest api of shopify have uh, two requests per second so we are using one second uh, one request per second uh, as a threshold for the safe case you can make it half second to uh, run it a little faster so we can see we had total 17 products and uh, we updated four products right here four tags and uh, uh, let's see these these four products uh, these were the four products that did not have uh, the summer tag we saw previously the gift card did not have uh, the uh, winter tag so these are the four products that do not have we created this JSON file uh, from here so we filter out the products that do not have winter tag now let's see the result go to the gift card and uh, here we have the summer tag so you can update the script according to yourself 
and uh, there are many other possibilities you can uh, tag the products automatically depending upon your needs i hope this helps thank you